Hello everybody and welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. So I haven't done many videos on this recently, I probably should have done because it is such an amazing simulator. Um, but today we're going to return for another episode and as you can see up here, it says my last save was on the 20th of April of this year. To be honest it feels like 5 seconds ago, it's amazing how time flies. So it's definitely time for another episode. Anyway. As for the add-ons, if you click on here, you can see exactly what you've got installed. And I have got most of them, all of them excluding the visual tuning and the pickup and SUV add-on. So we should be able to get some more jobs to do in the game, hopefully. Um, one other thing, if we go on the video setting, it actually tells you your frame rate. And you can see, because I'm recording, it's an average performance. When I'm not recording, it says very good. So, um, yeah, I think 48 with fraps running is not too bad. But uh, yeah, definitely check this out if you're playing this game. Anyway, yeah, let's continue. Okay, so here we are. The experience is 2520 and we have $5,275 in our account. So we need to get a new job in. I think when we've got one job through, we should start to see the add-ons, hopefully. Uh, so let's just do a quick one first of all. This one is the... Salem Kieran and it has poor brake performance so let's take this job first of all and hopefully the next job we do will be a DLC so here we go oh yes look at this uh, yes it does actually tell you it tells you exactly what the issue is okay so a call has just come in I don't know if it is a DLC no it's not that's unfortunate maybe some more will come in yes I need to just change my mouse sensitivity there press O we can see the repair order we've got an ABS module to replace two brake calipers a brake disc and a ventilated brake disc so I think before we do anything what we need to do is get this thing over there onto one of the lifts so I need to remember how to do this uh, move vehicle I think it is yes yeah, so we'll put it on the left lifter there we go so yeah I'm trying to sort of blitz through this job first of all And when we stick it on inspection mode, we should be able to see exactly what is wrong. Let's examine. Uh, because everything has already been discovered. There we go. We've got an issue up here. That's the ABS module. We've also got the brake caliper here. Yep, that's the one at fault. And I'm guessing the rest of the issues are at the back of the vehicle. Okay, so um, yeah, the, the ABS module. Do we have an OBD scanner? Let's just check. And we might do. No, this car doesn't have an OBD port. I thought every car did, must be too old, I don't know. Um, anyway, yeah, let's just get that thing replaced because obviously we're going to have to rip it off there. Hopefully we don't have to take too much off to do this. There it is. Okay. Oh, that's accessible from the engine bay. I think first of all then, as uh, we're probably in the wrong place to start off with, we will just sort of uh, do the wheels first of all. Might be easier. So we should have the fast unbolting, hopefully. Yeah, it's certainly faster. Uh, it'd be good if we had an impact wrench, but clearly we don't have one. Right, so the brake, it's been a long time since I've played this. Brake caliper, first of all. I was trying to see the bolts which we're doing. That needs to be replaced. If we go on examine mode again, yeah, you can see that the this is the ventilated brake disc. In fact, I might already have one of those. I'm not too sure. We might have to just check the condition of those brake pads. They're okay. Well, they're not the best, but they should they should be okay. So we'll get those removed first of all, and we'll get the brake disc removed and put it back on exam mode. Yep, that's everything off there. Um, so do we have a brake disc ventilated? I'm not too sure. I thought I did have one, but no. Now there is a possibility, although I doubt, that you can actually repair this. Um, because, whoa, spinning around in circles. Because I don't do this very often, um, I can't remember exactly how to do this, but um, you can do a tutorial. There is a chance to repair. We managed to repair the lower suspension arm for a different vehicle. So in the future, we'll be able to fit that. But no, for this one, we need to actually replace it. You can also get used parts, so that might not be a bad idea, although it might not look too good on the customer. So, I think, I think we'll buy them new. So there's the ABS module, very expensive. Let's get that first of all. We then need 
a ventilated brake disc. I believe we also need a standard brake disc. Uh, not sure why it'd be different. I guess one is for the front, one's for the back, different types. And I think we need two sets of brake pads. I, I think we do. Um, if we don't, then it'll always come in handy, but that's not the best thing to be doing. Ordering parts which we don't necessarily need, but yeah, I think we do. So let's just assemble this, get that on there. As for the brake pad, actually, which one required it? It might be this side, because they're not the best. Let's just see if that... No. Okay. It's obviously not It's not bad enough. So that'd be a bit of a waste, putting a new one on there. So on goes the used one. The caliper, however, um, yes, that does need to be replaced. So we'll go back over here for the brake caliper. Brake caliper. Right, where would it be? There we go. I think that is the only one I forgot there. So we should be okay. Put the new one on. Put the bolts in the back. If only it was so easy in real life, the access, I mean, because access isn't always great, unless you've got a lift. And there we go. I think that is everything good for that section. We do need to do the, the sensor up there, the ABS module, but I think we'll do that in a minute or two. We now need to examine back here. Okay, so there's something not right about that brake caliper. I thought it was, hang on, let's just check. I'm getting confused already. This is not good. Uh, yes, it, yes, it was a brake disc and a brake caliper. The pads are actually okay. So, uh, yeah, not. <laughs> I should have been thinking a bit straighter there, but it's okay because so many of these cars come into this workshop with these problems. We'll soon be able to get rid of those brake pads on a different car. So, here we go. Let's remove this caliper first of all. And then we need to take the brake pad off. And let's just check the condition of this. It's okay. Yeah, we should be able to get away with it. So keep the same brake pad. And yes, we need to get a new caliper. This can't be the wheel with the bad brake disc. So let's get it reassembled. Go to the back. Yeah, I hope, I hope there is going to be another car mechanic simulator. There hasn't been one for this year, which is a bit unfortunate. I thought there'd be one every year, but no. I, I would have thought it would be quite a successful game. Although it probably is a bit of a niche, but yeah, I think there are probably still enough people out there who would enjoy this kind of thing. Okay, so there's something. There's definitely something here. We need to get this removed. I would say this is the one which requires the new brake disc. To get to the brake disc, we have to take the caliper off first of all, and the brake pads. Yeah, that looks horribly worn. So we can put the brake disc on there, the new one. Put, no, 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 let's not put that on there. Otherwise we'll be losing quite a bit of money. We'll put the used one back on. And the used caliper. And then hopefully it's just going to be the module which we need to do now. Let's just take a look. Yes, just the ABS module. So let's lower it down. We need to go under the bonnet. We'll do it this way. We never used to have all this branding like Bosch up there and um, the Sealy, Dynamax, all these ones up here. It's nice that it actually feels like a real workshop. Right, so it's going to be somewhere in the depths of the engine bay. Is it back here? Yes, it is. So let's remove that from there. Lots of small bolts, probably an M8 or something. They don't look very big. And it should be a case of just bolting the very expensive new one on. Very expensive. Um, I don't know if it's the same as Car Mechanics 2014, where you can actually sell the used parts. You might be able to. To be honest, I've never actually thought of doing that. We probably should do. Uh, but let's just put the hood or the bonnet down and check to see if we've done everything. We have indeed. 
And the total earned from this was $2,040, but of course we had to spend quite a bit of money on it, over a thousand pounds, and we got some bonuses as well. So that's all good. Okay, we, we're not very good. We're not very good at all. We have missed off. Have I actually sent a car at the workshop without a wheel? Have I really? You fool, you fool, what are you doing? What are you doing? You've actually gone and sent the customer their car back without his wheel. Oh, things don't go too well. This is why you actually have to use your common sense when doing stuff like this. I suppose that couldn't really happen in real life because you'd usually drive, you, drive the car out of the workshop to the customer. You'd think you'd know if you haven't put the wheel on. We'll try again. That was not too good. Okay, better luck that time. So what we need to do this time is get a different job, but I was really hoping that one of the DLCs would pop through. I don't know if they're going to. I suppose we could decline one of the jobs, but I don't know if you get penalised for that. No, I don't think you do. So if you get rid of those three and just leave one just in case no more come through. We'll just sit around here, twiddling our thumbs. Oh, hello. Instantly, we get another job come through, and this is a Maserati. This is part of the DLC. And this is good because I've never done this DLC before. The problem with this car is the car is loud. We've got another one come through. This is once again a different DLC. But I think we're going to go for the Maserati first of all. This is all good. Um, so yeah, car is loud so that's going to be something to do with the exhaust system most likely. Um, unless of course it's something like the engine manifold but that's still to do with the exhaust. So, let's just wait for it to load and then we'll be able to get cracking on the car. Looking forward to this, because before I haven't really been doing any DLC, and it's a bit of a shame. Wow, look at this in the workshop. We should probably go and take this for a spin, if we're allowed to. Let's see if we can do. Oh, you can put it on a dyno. Never seen this done before. Hang on. We're still here, and my car has been stolen. What's all this? What is all this? How did you get... What have I done? I've just given the car away. Really? I've... I've been the customer ringing up asking where his car is. Run away! I've just seen the car through this door. It seems that we didn't drive it around there. Okay, so... This isn't necessary, it's just I want to see it go. Take it for a test run. Yeah, you wouldn't want to hold it up there at 7,200 RPM for very long. 460 horsepower, that is incredible. Right, so, with that done, the car is back. We should now be able to get to work on the exhaust system. Well, most likely the exhaust system. It should tell us, actually. Oh, no, because this is the DLC, this is advanced, so we have to find the problem ourselves, which is obviously a lot better. So, let's get it put onto the lifter. We'll put it on the right lifter this time. It's not ready. Okay, I've foolishly left it in the air. You're probably starting to uh, see what my garage would be like, what my workshop would be like if I did this as a living. It's probably a good job that I don't do because customers would be going without their exhausts, without their wheels and everything. In fact, they'll probably f forget their entire car if I've got anything to do with it. But um, yes, luckily it's just a simulator. That is why they have these simulators. For people like me to mess about with. Okay, so this is clearly, clearly where the issue is. Let's get it onto the examination mode so we can see exactly where the problem does lie. This is the middle muffler, that's good. That's the middle muffler. Actually, I think really we can bypass the back because you can clearly see where the issue is. It's somewhere around here. I'm going to remove that one there. And we're going to remove this one here. We're going to need two of those. And it looks like a catalytic converter also may be in need for replacement. We'll have to examine these, but the OBD scanner should be able to do this. So let's just check. The OBD reader. Scanning for problems. All done. We should now see what the problem was. There we go. Okay. So, yes, the catalytic converter, one of them is on 8%, one of them is on 12%. And we obviously knew that the two exhaust systems at the front needed to be replaced anyway, so this should be relatively straightforward. However, there were on the list 
quite a few think yes one more thing has not been discovered so we're going to get those parts ordered i can imagine they can be very expensive considering it's maserati now do we have to be in there or do we have to be in a different place it could be the performance shop i would have thought it would be um so yeah let me just find the parts that we need it's obviously the v8 so let's just find the correct place we need well it's just i might be in the wrong place i'm not too sure I think because it begins with an F, it would be, yes, it's in F. So it will be two of these, $300 each. And then we need the catalytic converter, which should be near at the top. Let's just see, there we go. Again, quite expensive. So at least we know four of the five parts. We'll be able to fit these now. We do still need to remove these. Might be easier if we go to the front. So there's a new one. What's an optional part then? Why would it be optional? You'd have thought it would be totally necessary to comply with legislation. I don't know. Maybe it's because you can fit the old one in if you want to. Right, so how are we doing? We're fitted four out of five. There is another part which is at fault, and I'm gonna guess that this is the engine manifold, but I might be wrong. But it's not looking too good, is it? It doesn't look too good at all in there. By taking off the car. Okay, so we actually, it might be uh, worth dropping it down, unless we, can, yeah, gonna have to drop it down. And then we should be able to lift up the bonnet, or the hood. It really just depend. Oh no, I've taken the I've taken the bonnet off. That was totally unnecessary. All we had to do was lift it up. Oh well. Um, this is like some kind of clown workshop. Right, we should be able to. If I'm in the right place, I'm not in the right place yet though. I should be able to remove that. Quite a lot of bolts, and these can really rust on. So we need the exhaust manifold V8. Again, that is gonna be quite an expensive part to buy. Should be in E. So we've got quite a few. This one here. I suppose taking the whole bonnet off gives us better access, but it wasn't necessary. There we go. I wonder if they're using new bolts, because it doesn't actually make you replace stuff like the minor hardware. Fantastic. Okay, we better put their bonnet back on again. Otherwise, they're not going to be too happy. And let's hope that is done. Right, so it's looking good. I think all the wheels are on, hopefully. We'll finish the job there. And yeah, it seems to have taken it. Right, let me just go to this workbench over here again. Yes, there's nothing else to repair. But if we have got, what's this? Not too sure. This is our toolbox and you can upgrade things. Um, but yeah, I think it's the, yes, it's the experience that you need to get things like the compression tester and stuff like that. So we're not there yet. I'm surprised we managed to repair that, what was it, the steering arm? Because our chance of repair is, what would it be, less than 50%, I would have thought. So we did well. We're not very advanced at all. Anyway, I think we'll do one more. Just the one more today. Okay, so I was gonna do this one just here, but clearly we don't have enough experience. I was then gonna do this one just here, but we've just done the brakes on a different car. So that'd be kind of boring. And then this one here, again, same thing again. So we're gonna decline that one and decline that one and see what we get from a new customer in a few minutes. Where can we, oh. I was going to say, where can we sit? But it's so quick. This looks good. Although we've got the braking problems again, but it's okay. We've got an FMW Panther. Put new engine oil and filter in. And it has brake problems. So we'll take this job. Sounds pretty good. Looking forward to this. Usually when it's something to do with the engine oil, I tend to throw it all over the workshop floor. It's a little, little hobby of mine to, to mess everything up by accident, of course. So let's just see. Change the oil, drain old and refill with new, and it needs a V8 oil filter. 
It then needs two brake calipers, two brake pads, that's fantastic, we've already got those, and a brake disc ventilated. So let's just go and buy these parts straight away. We're in the high performance one first of all, so we should be able to get the oil filter from here. Oh, look at that phone, it's going all the time. Where is oil filter? Right, it's actually in the standard car part shop, so that makes it easier. $15 for a V8 oil filter. And then we need to get the brake caliper. So this would be in brakes. I actually didn't notice it's got the categories here. It does make it a lot easier. Um, I think it's the ventilated one again. So we'll go for that. We then need to get... We've got the brake pads already. Um, what was it? I always forget. We need to get... Yeah, two brake calipers, one brake disc ventilator. Done, done and done. So just the calipers. Okay, two of those. And now we have everything we need. So... Let's just put it up over there again, on the right hand side. We're going to need this. Because I tend to throw it everywhere. Okay, come here, we need you. Good. Where is the oil? Where is the oil? I tend to throw it all over the floor. Is that the, is that, yep, yeah, that's the drain plug. It's very hard to see actually. It's, it's hard to know if you're actually aligned, lined up with it, are we? I think we're not. No, I would say we're not. This could go horribly, horribly wrong. Let's just try it. If this makes a mess, we're gonna get penalized. Did it go in? I think it's going in. I think so. I think it worked. Because we didn't get penalised. Brilliant. Oh, also, we should probably take the oil filter off as well. Where is the oil filter situated in this thing? There it is. Again, we should be lined up because it's going to be a bit messy. Hopefully that is underneath. And now we should be able to put the new filter on. There we go. Yep, the drain plug's been put in automatically. We'll bring this out. There we go. Lower it down, and then we need to put the oil in. Right, so there's the filler cap. Just here. And sometimes it shows you on a dipstick how much you're putting in. Other times it sort of... Yeah, it does that. It pulls up to give you an idea. But I think today we should probably try and find this dipstick. <laughs> there it is. Okay, so yes, it's definitely not got enough in it yet. We'll have to keep going. Strange looking oil. Right colour and everything, but it's a bit you know, bubbly. <laughs> it's like dust or something. Right, must be a new and improved formula. Perfect. That is done. Good. So, let's just check. That's still, yep. Engine oil done. And filter done. Right, final job. This should be very quick. Because we've done it already before on a different car. This car is a very minty colour. Um, examine mode. Right, so this one has definitely got an issue. Definitely got an issue here. So we'll just blitz these off. Rim looks good, but the caliper certainly doesn't look good. How's everything else in there? Yeah, I think it's all, all okay. I think, yep. Yeah. So, it's just going to be a case of putting a new caliper on there. And then putting the rim back on. Nice and simple. Okay. Next, we need to go to the back because this must be where the next problem is lying. Let's just take a look. Yep, definitely a caliper issue here. Okay, we can't see the bolts. Ah yes, we've also got an issue with this brake pad. I've turned into a more productive workshop now. The first car we did was terrible. 
and now we seem to be doing a lot better and a lot faster. Maybe this car will actually go out with a few wheels on. Right, I can already see without examining it that we've got a problem with the brake pads. There we go. Put some new ones in there. Yes, I knew they'd come in handy, they always do. That's that one done. So how are we doing? We should be almost finished. Just one more brake disc, well, a brake disc to do. It must be this side. Everything else has been sorted. So yeah, all we need to do is whip this off. And then, oh, again, we're gonna have to take the brake off. If this was in real life, this would take forever. Let's take all these different parts off just to get to things inside. And of course, these dealers are charging by the hour. So it costs the customer a lot of money. Yeah, there's a lot of money in car servicing. I think everybody knows that. Um, yeah, so if you've got anything wrong with your car, I think if you've got any mechanical knowledge, it's always worth trying it yourself and then go to a dealer or a repair shop after that because they can really get to you with the money. Uh, right, okay, so that is all good. We should be all finished there, so we'll finish the job. You fool. <laughs> you absolute idiot. I have actually missed off. And the wheel. Did I really do that? Did I actually miss that wheel off? I can't believe this. We will try again. And this time we'll actually try and fit it. I can't believe that twice I've managed to send a car off with its back wheel missing. Right. Hopefully that is done. It is. Fantastic. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Uh, I always find it quite amusing because I like to see how rubbish I am at doing it. Um, but yes, until the next video, thank you very much for watching and see you again soon. Bye for now.